Hey y'all, Allie Angel. Wanted to do a quick video on how to find filing information. And I'm gonna show you the resources that I use. And then of course the Edgar site, just a quick reference on it. Uh, this is most definitely not a promotion for BAM site. It's really expensive. And if you are just starting trading, use the free side of it. You do not wanna pay for it. You should be spending your money on other things. And honestly, free educational content is amazing. Uh, that is a lot of the great information that you can get. A lot of people overlook free information, but it's definitely your best resource. All right. Not a recommendation to buy or sell. Easiest ways to find me, of course, tradingfitgirl.net is my website. I am on StockTwits. And then of course, you guys are on YouTube right now. If you subscribe, you'll get the notification for future videos. And these will get uh, more often. I'm still trying to find my rhythm getting back into teaching. So really quick on Edgar, so this is the basic SEC website, and then an Edgar uh, is their filing system that they use. You can search the companies. I'm going to use BIOL today. Uh, they did a free uh, proxy today, and that is for voting, of course, and I'll go through that in just a second, but that's going to be the one that I use. Uh, you guys know that I'm playing it. I am currently in it. I will be playing the channel on it. On the votes for shareholder meeting votes, if they have a reverse split on the vote, I only play until the day before. And the reason for that, if they, <clears throat> excuse me, if they drop a you know, PR immediately after the vote and say, hey, we're going to do a reverse split tomorrow, you're going to get caught in that. Sometimes they have their meetings scheduled at 8 a.m. or whatever, so it can fall anytime. Majority of the time, they know before the meeting what they're going to do, and I've seen them drop PRs before the meeting actually starts. They just have to do the formalities, what have you. So I do not play the day of the vote. Uh, I got caught in it, I think twice in the time I've been trading and it you take a loss on it. You don't have a choice, you just get out. I do not hold through the reverse split. You will not be able to sell the first morning after the reverse split. A lot of times these spike, you cannot sell and then they're gonna go lower. So be very, very careful if you are trading and around the votes. And of course, after the reverse split, then there's a whole nother cycle. So just be very careful on these. So we are on the SEC uh, Edgar site. I'm just gonna go for BIOL and it's going to show you everything that um, has to do with companies matching BIOL, right? So instead of doing that, you're gonna type in the actual company name. So, so in this case, it's BioLays, it's gonna populate so you're going to click on that and that's going to bring you direct. So versus or the ticker versus the actual company name is going to take you to directly what you want, especially if you're in a hurry on these. So make sure you're getting the searches in and doing them accurately for speed, of course. So with these guys, we have the preliminary proxy and here we go. Company is going to hold a meeting on July 20th. Okay, fine. And then uh, we have voting shares, which are the preferred stock, of course, and it tells you that they're voting shares. The preliminary proxy is just stating what the date is and what they're planning on doing. A lot of times we don't see the reverse split ratios in these. Those will come on the definitive proxy, which is going to be a DEF 14 versus a pre-14. Now, if you are not great at searching prior information because you can go through here view filings it's a huge mess it's just an order of date that's when BAMSEC, com BAMSEC comes in so on BAMSEC if you've already got BAMSEC you know all of this so just go through this part but if you don't the free version let me show you guys that one uh, because that is actually what you would be seeing so this is the free version and you just type in a ticker and if I can type there we go and it's going to block out after like four or five. Yeah, I think it's five on these that they do. So you have five filings that you can see. You can also see older filings and you can kind of guess what they are based on the spacing on it. So here you go. And um, they're really nice about telling you what the actual filing is. So if you're looking for previous shareholder meetings, the DEF 14, the pre-14, the pre-14 is the beginning of it. So this would be the previous one. And then all of this is the changes that uh, they did. So you can kind of guess on that. Obviously you can't view it on BAMSEC. Go back to Edgar, look up the date on it. And there you go. Unfortunately, Edgar doesn't allow you to save information, which is the main reason 
that I use BAM Psych. You can save the information, you can save a watch list. And then on that, it allows you to just check it at the end of the day or throughout the day. It is an auto population. They use an RSS feed from the Edgar system and you get everything right in front of you. Now, the difference between the two is literally saving information and then highlights, things like that. If you are logged into BAMSEC, you can go to your highlights that saved information and see exactly what you have from the past. You can share information, all of that fun stuff. On Edgar, you can't. So it's just a view documents like a PDF. So when you're going through these, use both systems. If you do not have the subscription uh, to BAMSEC, and just get familiar with them so you can do things quickly. Now, Edgar did have an issue last week where it was not loading 8Ks, S1s, S3s. I think a couple 10Qs came through that it didn't load. It was just blank. Now, when that happens, that's the entire system. Unfortunately, they have not updated that. So we've still got a lot of stuff. I want to say it was last Thursday or Friday, maybe Thursday. Uh, you still got all of this information that has not loaded yet. So just be aware of other things that you can use, uh, which of course are the company websites. You can see uh, their PRs on that. Um, they have the IR section on pretty much all websites uh, for these companies. So just go into their about investor relations, and then you can see all of the PRs, updates, things like that. That of course is pulled through PR Newswire and then Globe Newswire as an auto as soon as they upload any PR, it's going to pull through those two. It's a connected system. So just know all the research, resources that you have to uh, find these. And of course, learn how to work with these filings, learn how to read the filings, learn what they mean. Uh, my first guide is actually based prior and primarily on prioritizing what filings are important versus which ones that you can wait on type thing. And of course, the reactions within the market, which those do change. You have your quick reactions when, you know, pumpers are on things, whatever they use information and okay, fine. We don't have a lot of pumpers anymore. I know that. Um, but then these companies will do the same thing. You've got the companies that are super active on social media. That's always a red flag, by the way, and be very, very careful if their CEO or somebody else in the company is interacting with retail. That's always a death trap. So just avoid those. But Anytime they have a filing and they're interacting, they're like, oh, look at this shiny. And then, you know, offering drop. We've had that happen several times in the last couple of weeks where they're interacting and then, yay, look at this news. Woohoo, shiny. And then we get an offering drop 30 minutes later. So I think Arnaz did that yesterday where they're like, look pretty. And then offering drop an hour later. So just be cognizant of those types of things going on in the market. All right. Don't forget to subscribe so you get future videos questions, comments, concerns. I do have comments uh, turned off on the YouTube, but feel free on StockTwits to uh, ask questions, request future videos, all of that fun stuff. All right. Have a great day, guys.